Hi, I'm Peter Haddock and I'm here at Geo Business and Digital Construction Week and I've managed to find Rob. Rob, you are from the Green Hatch Group and you have been using this HP Sight Printer to actually go and do projects in a completely different way. Yes. So you've taken it, it's quite rugged as a, it is. As yeah, a piece yeah, of yeah, equipment. Yeah, yeah. You've taken it onto real construction sites to do some marking out. Now, yeah. tell us a little bit about Green Hatch Group first and yeah. how you've come to be a bit of a leader in marking out using this connected to the Leica Geo Systems Total Station. Sure, so we're, uh, we're traditionally a geospatial surveyor, so um, literally cover everything geospatial, topographical, yep. measure building surveys. Um, I sit in a little engineering department, so we're setting out traditional construction works, movement monitoring, level monitoring, and a core part of our works is setting out floor slabs, essentially. Right, right. Um, that would have been points on the floor with a total station. Um, so we saw this bit of kit, it's slashing our time on site, what we're able to physically put on the ground, it's a bit of a game changer for us. So let's put it into context, right? So normally you, you've got all of your team, you know, you, you're setting out, you're pinpointing the points, then you, you're either you're kneeling down and you're spraying. Yeah, so traditionally with a, a pole and a, a little detail pole and a prism, yeah. we'd set up a construction survey network as usual. We'd be physically on the ground or on a little stool, yeah. uh, marking the floor. We can try and reference number that, but essentially it's a bit of a dot to dot. So we'd, right. be, we'd be given a drawing with some points on to a gang of anybody, clients, site managers, and they'd have to almost interpret what we've dotted or lined on the floor. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes we'd have to chalk line those or watch other people chalk line them out, for example. But um, yeah, with this bit of kit, we can literally just print a drawing on the floor. So. Say that takes you an hour to do one piece. Yeah. How long does it take with this? The way we can equate it is jobs that have usually took sort of four or five days, we're, we're sort of rattling them off in a day quite comfortably. Right. Wow, um, so 25% of the time with, with those Pretty sort of much, yeah, yeah, projects. yeah. I've seen, I've seen numbers of 10 times faster knocking around, but yeah. we were quite quick beforehand, so uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's considerably quicker for us. And of course, you're human, this is a robot, when it gets the, the actual data right, yeah, which yeah, you've got yeah. right in the first place, uh, it's marking to three millimeter accuracy. And so that really does mean that you are also more accurate. You've not got to go back and actually rework things. Uh, and there's, there's different inks as well, isn't there in here? Yeah, so being surveyors, we wanted to check its accuracy before yeah, yeah. we threw it out there. So <laughs> um, we, yeah, we, we were very happy with it actually. It does remove that element of human error. As a user, it sort of calibrates itself every now and then if I'm using it for a big area at a time, we, we know to sort of pause it, let itself recalibrate. We've had absolutely no problems that way. I know the unit that's gonna come out, from what I understand, you can literally take a cartridge out like you would a printer, yep. put a different color in, that could be different line work, different text on the floor, um, anything that you would in a drawing really. If you've got a different layer in a drawing, there's no reason why you couldn't plot that on the floor. And so, some of our customers are coming to us asking for such detail to be put on now that they, we could never have on the floor before, like parts and product, yeah. numbers, little zone areas, health and safety information. So the possibilities yeah, so are we, quite endless. You know, we've actually seen this print yeah, yeah, yeah. words on yeah, the floor yeah, yeah. to say this is a door, this is yeah. <laughs> this is a window area, this is whatever it is, this is a cable yeah, um, yeah. and things like that. That really does you know, define the job roles. And when you mix in like a color printer can as such, when you mix yeah, in these yeah. different inks and you go red line for those guys, yellow line for some other operations, it really does work, doesn't it? Yes, yeah. Like you just said, different trades, it just saves that communication error as well, which we all have, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're, we're a human. Yeah. A good example, we did a little hospital. We were literally able to plot little flat units, so yeah. doors, yeah. bed here, yeah. sink here. And that's just such an invaluable tool we we gave to our clients that it's great for us. And the thing is, we all know, if that's out by 50 mil, or even if it's out by a few, you know, 50 centimeters, yeah. when you come to actually look at, hey, we've got this whole row of absolutely the same size residential areas and spaces yeah. in a hospital, we get to the end and we've either got too much space yeah. or yeah. we've not got enough space to do it. With this, it's actually, so the accuracy there, it's the surveying data 
that's got there beforehand that creates the model. So we're not saying it's going to disturb surveyors' roles. That's more critical that the surveying techniques are there. And then it all comes together. Well, you know, for, for a Green Hatch Group, this is really great to see because what you're doing is you're changing the marketplace. Early adopters, as we know, of this technology. But equally, you've been working with Leica Geosystems now for a long time using their surveying equipment as well, haven't you? And, and that translates to how you can use that understanding into this space. How's that helped? Obviously being surveyors we know the capabilities of a like a total station so we know if it's being driven by that we're happy yeah. we've got our usual survey network in the geocom link between that it is seamless. Well you see these kind of prisms on the AP20 pole and things like that so it's technology that's literally you know, proven and then implanted isn't it? So yeah, exactly, I guess yeah. yeah. So exciting new use. Exactly. Uh, yeah. So folks, it's great to talk about new technology, but it's even better to talk to people like Rob who've actually used it and the client impact that's had. Rob, it's great to meet you. Keep using the robot. Brilliant. Keep getting it all colourful job sites in the future, folks. But remember, they're going to be colourful and accurate so everybody can do their job better. Cheers, mate. Thank you, Peter.